Imagine a world where access to mental health resources was plentiful and readily available. That's the dream of the Beacon Tree Foundation doing some incredible work right here in our community. We're joined today by Tom Leahy and Audrey Kidd. We're going to talk with both of them a little bit. It's wonderful to see both of you. Thanks for making time. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Tom, let's start together and talk about the mission and purpose of Beacon Tree Foundation for anybody who's not yet familiar with this organization. Right. Well, to put it simply, we address the hurdles that keep a family from getting the help that their child needs to overcome their issues, fighting stigma through education, um, facilitating access to services, and thirdly, helping pay for those services if the family can't afford it. Tom, that is an incredible amount of heavy lifting, even during what we would call normal circumstances, which of course we've not been in for an extended period. As we were talking before we got started today, you mentioned we really are on on the cusp of a wave of a really significant surge in need for mental health resources for families, for young people. And you're really at the head end of that. The Yeah, the, I mean, we're... Um, the, the experts, uh, in fact, U.S. News will report just uh, had an article out. There's a, a panel of experts that are looking at children's mental health. And, um, you know, Dr. Michael Sorter uh, is at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. He basically said, you know, this was a pandemic before the pandemic, mental, children's mental health. Now it's going to be a real issue. And they're expecting a surge of issues with anxiety, depression coming out of the pandemic. And uh, that's an issue for Beacon Tree Foundation because we need to be able, we need to be prepared um, with resources and financially to be able to help the families that are gonna be reaching out to us. Absolutely so. And Audrey, let's talk a little bit about your personal experience that brought you into this world of the Beacon Tree Foundation, so much so that now you're part of the board. Uh, This is an opportunity for an organization to connect families and young people with the resources covering those financial gaps. And really, in your case, as you got started, opening up a perspective so you knew where to look for resources. Absolutely. Um, With my experience, I did not have these resources available to me. So being a part of the board and really getting involved in Beacon Tree is huge. Um, Just being an advocate for these families, navigating the path, getting them the support, the education that they really need throughout the process. And of course, it comes from our donors and sponsors that give us the ability to provide funding for these special children that really just need our help and support throughout, you know, everything that they're going through in their life right now. Yeah, every day, let alone where we are now, where the the, the demand uh, because of the circumstances, these extended circumstances that we've been in have really uh, made an impact. Audrey, this touched your life personally as well, didn't it? It did. Absolutely. Um, You know, I did not have the ability to, you know, have Tom by my side through this process. And, you know, we had a lot of stumbling blocks, just finding the support, finding the help, getting the type of, you know, counseling and services that our daughter needed. So, you know, this is just a huge, huge impact to the community to provide those additional resources, and just the support for the family. Tom, the, the, the motivation behind Beacon Tree Foundation, um, personal to Audrey, personal to you, we're almost out of time, but I want to touch base on what, what motivated you to begin this journey in the first place. Uh, it, it came out of a, a personal experience with, with my children, uh, three daughters, all of them suffered with mental illness uh, in one way or another. And through that struggle and that experience, uh, Diane and I, you know, figured out, you know, one child, maybe, but three were being trained to do something, you know, (laughs) so out of that came came Beacon Tree. um, And, you know, back in 2008, um, as a matter of fact, is when we started. Um, And so each year now we do our annual Trees of Hope event. 
um, which is our the big annual awareness and fundraising event. This year, it's going to be virtual. Um, it's going to be on May 6th at 6.30. Um, you can find out more uh, on our web uh, webpage, uh, website, um, bigotry.org, or our Facebook page. Um, also has an event um, set up there that you can find more, more uh, out more about it and uh, what's involved. Plus sponsorships as well. We're looking for sponsorships. We need that help. Absolutely. Because an, an event like this, you mentioned Trees of Hope going into its ninth year, it's grown tremendously over the years, started as a, as a, a smaller event and certainly has sure. grown. It provides the awareness, the support, and then, of course, in turn, makes these resources available. Maintaining it going virtually is not an easy feat, but you're welcoming everybody to be part of it. I know you must be excited to see it continue this year. I am. I mean, we weren't able to do it last year because we were, you know, uh, caught short with with the pandemic. But uh, we were very excited to be able to bring back our, uh, the young people who provide music, uh, families to share their stories, uh, and other, you know, speakers uh, and entertainment, as, as well as just creating awareness about, uh, you know, mental illness. Indeed. And Audrey, thank you so much for your incredible support of an event like this, because as you mentioned, with it being a fundraising event, it's critical that people support so that the work that uh, Beacon Tree Foundation is able to be done continues. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Our thank pleasure. You. Tom, we appreciate your time. We'll share all the information so uh, everybody watching today can learn more about Beacon Tree Foundation and the upcoming Trees of Hope event. Thanks for your support. Annual Trees of Hope presented by Beacon Tree Foundation is coming up on Thursday, May 6th at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook Live. CBS 6 anchor Greg McQuaid will host this virtual event. For more information, we'll post a link on our show website by early this afternoon at wtvr.com slash VTM. And stay tuned, we'll share our final thoughts on today's show coming up in less than two and a half minutes.